Welcome to The Big Idea, your daily roadmap to the American dream. I'm Donnie Deutsch. Okay, speaking of the American dream, what is better than doing what you love, making money? Well, nothing. That is the ultimate American dream. And we've got an entire show tonight about people on the edge, stunt people, special effects people, makeup people, doing these wild and crazy things, loving it, and making big bucks. The thrill job, stunts. Nothing gets the adrenaline pumping like setting your friends on fire. That's what they do at Never Quit Inc., a professional stunt company operated by the husband and wife team of Brian Smy and Stephanie Stokes. You've seen them in movies and never even knew it. And no matter what they're asked to do, every stunt is coordinated to the tiniest detail for safety's sake. You guys don't get to do this to your wives. <laughs> but no matter how many precautions they take, in the end, each and every stunt has an element of danger and comes with a wild rush. Let's start with the king and queen of stunts, <laughs> Brian Smy, Stephanie Stokes. You guys have your own company called Never Quit Inc. It's one of the best in the business. You employ a ton of people making a ton of money, but more importantly, doing this Having crazy fun. thing you Having love, man. Fun. Okay, we're love also going to see, you can see where we are tonight. We're out kind of in the studio here, and we're going to, she's not just harness because we like to dress people crazy. We're going to be doing a stunt in a little bit called a ratchet, and that's a stunt where when somebody gets blown up in a movie and they fly back 40 miles an hour, we're going to actually do that with Stephanie momentarily. But first, let's talk about how you guys get into this. For me, it was personal. I, I was trying to do this in my 20s. I was doing other work. Um, I was doing some broadcasting work and things, but I had a tough childhood and was told, no, you can't, no, you can't, a thousand times, so it became meaningless, and I said, yes, I can. And at 30, I full-time became a professional stunt woman. Who was telling you, no, you can't? It's just the environment I grew up in. So at home, it was like, so, you're yeah, not so going to So, yes, it just resounded in my head, you can't, you can't, you can't, you're going to get hurt. And it just, I said, if I can do it, other women can do it, other people but can I, do it wait, safely. Wait, I want to understand the moment, because they, they, all of a sudden you say, I'm going to be a stunt person. It's like, I, that's not a normal thing to do. It's not the kind of thing like, okay, go to be a doctor, be a lawyer, be a nurse, or whatever it is. Give me the moment where, okay, I want to be a stunt person. It's pushing your own internal envelope. I think day-to-day -day living and life, <clears throat> pardon me, running a business, a successful business is tougher and making the decision to actually go out and say, I want to do this, I want this person to safely light me on fire, he's the best person out there, and I want him for the job. You were saying before we said, how many guys get to set their wives on fire? Pretty much, you know, just one <laughs> little a pretty small little group. Yeah. yeah, pretty small. Uh, How'd you get into this? I wanted to be a kid that never grew up. I am Peter Welcome Pan, to the club, okay? Man. And, you know, it's living a dream. You get to do stuff, exciting stuff, crash cars, jump cars over tractor trailers, rappel off of buildings, rappel out of helicopters. Get beaten uh, up by lead actors. Get beaten up by... Uh, beaten yeah, we're going to talk about the yeah. <laughs> what, what I don't get, this is one of those things, it's like, I always wonder how, okay, somebody who's a lion tamer, the first right. time you... How, how does the first time, obviously you're an expert, I'm watching you do your stuff, how does somebody break into this? How does it... I understand most people are, come from the world of gymnastics and racing car. What, what? There are people that have specialties and different backgrounds, and then they evolve in. I decided that this was something that I wanted to do. I had an affection for the movie business. Years ago, I was in L.A., uh, went up to San Francisco to see my dad, and I was standing on a uh, set of the streets of San Francisco talking to Paul Servino, and I just fell in love with it. Bill Bixby was directing the episode. David McCallum was a guest star. You're the man from Uncle. Man from Uncle. Don't, I was don't, in. Don't age us here. I was in. <laughs> well, we're going to do a play by play with some of the, the best done, some of the, some of the movies here. I mean, pretty much we've seen all these movies. Uh, you know, uh, we're going we're gonna to start with Gladiator. But before we do that, for a stunt like this, what would you get paid for a day? What do you charge, for instance, whatever the production company, come on, for you to get blown up, blown back? Mm -hmm. well, what's the box involved there? It depends on where, how far what she's landing on because a lot of times it's, you're going to the concrete yeah. you're going to the dirt you're going to hit the side of a car you're going to crash into a car break out the window go through a window there's a million variations for a stunt ratchet this long and for a woman because right. traditionally they don't wear the same stuff we wear yeah. suits elbow so pads, she, yeah, pads yeah, nightgowns so no like uh, she'd probably make about two three grand for the day and then the residuals base after Just that. on camera, obviously. Right. right. Okay, well, let's do a little behind the scenes. Let's start with True Lies. He's being, there's a, he's being blown up. And let's first watch the actual, how it happens on, in the movie in real time. Alles in Ordnung, ich danke Ihnen. Schönen Abend an Sie. Sie? Sir? May I see your invitation, please? Sure. Here's my invitation. I come up and ask him for his invitation. I'm the guard that says, so you're, you're this guy right there. Your invitation, please. 
Sure. He hits me and I go flying back. Then they cut to blowing up the building. Took three days to set up because they had one building, Mansion Row, Rhode Island, two o'clock in the morning. Didn't <laughs> want to do a second take. Yeah. Wow, that there is been, no second take. That's good. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, next up, let, let's go to The Departed. Great movie, Scorsese wins the... It must have been fun finally, working with Scorsese. Finally, finally well-deserved. We were cheering. We are standing in the house cheering for him. That's it. So this is now... you getting punched out, basically. This is now, instead of a special effect, in effect, right. it, it's you. What is the art of being punched as a stuntman? What, what's the game? Because obviously you're not letting a guy really clock you. What, what, what happens? Well, he... He lit me up with a cup. He hit me with a, uh, uh, a breakaway glass. Right. But he felt that his character would hit me a certain way. And you just have to anticipate it just briefly so that you're not moving before he hits you, but as he hits you, just rolling with it so it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Let's take a look. Hey, f it. It's Jackie's nephew. Oh. What? Oh, f what? Hit the Everything is a system. Everything's designed so that it works. So that somebody's what actually, not going to. What in a stunt like that when you're getting punched? What if I was you in that scene? What what would I be doing? Just rolling to the opposite way. Just, and, and with him, it's like as he's coming, I'm moving, and then I see him coming back and winding up with the other hand. And if I have to stall a minute, if he if he throws a punch and then stops, then throws a punch, I have to watch him the whole time. Yeah to make sure his movement... Now, you're a third-degree black belt, various martial arts, so certainly that helps in a situation like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But your wife can still kick your butt, right? All the time. She's the go. boss. We're, we're, we're gonna get, She's we're, the brains of the op so, operation. That's obvious. Steph, we're going to get to you in a second. I also want to talk about working a husband and wife. Gladiator, before we show that, you said you had an aha moment where you basically walked... Well, pick it up. You walked into the arena. I walked into the arena, and after I had been in the business at least 15 years, I walked into the arena through the same gates that they come out. It was the way they directed us in. And we just got off a plane. It took a day to get there. We walk in, and there is this coliseum. This set was amazing. And I was like, you know what? This is Hollywood. This is what it's about. You know, there was 5,000 extras in the stands. Ridley Scott. It was just Ridley Scott. And you, bas Crow. you were basically there to work with Crow to make sure he didn't get hurt in the, in the gladiators. Stunt coordinators, buddy of mine, he said, listen, I, you just keep an eye on him. We had stunt guys from Czech Republic, uh, Czech Republic uh, Croatia, Slovakia. Um, but what Italy, is he? England. What is Crow when, when he's? When you say keep an eye on him, obviously you're. What does that mean? So many things going on. We had real chariots, real horses yeah. riding around in this arena. That was. It was just and, like being a real gladiator and running he's around. He's in there. He was in there. Okay, friends with money. Now let's get to the star. Okay, what's going to happen here with friends with money? You play, uh, you're basically Frances McDormand's yes. stunt double. I walked in to be her stunt double. Uh, she's a, a frustrated customer. She's going through this tumultuous time in her life. She yells at someone in the store and runs smack into a plate glass uh, wall. Oh, Just let me buy what I need. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, then take it all then. <gasps> There's a big difference between, obviously, teaching actors stunts and being the stunt double yourself. Yes. I mean, that, that's a big... Do you find most actors you work with are ready to jump in or most are... Uh, you do it. Most of the time, they want to jump in, and you, you, you have to talk them out of it. Who, who are the most courageous or adventurous actors or actresses you guys have worked with? Wow. Um, Matt Damon wants to do everything. Wants to do everything. Wants to do everything. The guy is gung-ho, and he, he's good. Do you guys ever get scared? Yeah. I mean, you do. So yeah. it's not like you're, you're yeah. going into it, you go, this, I could end up in a neck brace or exactly. worse. Exactly. You, you know, it's not all about, you know, I'm the tough guy. You yeah. know, guys, stunt guys will do that between each other. Yeah. Nah, I wasn't scared. I was, but in reality, it's about conquering your fear, focusing so that you don't let the fear take you over. Right. Yeah. We're going to take a break. When we come back, the ratchet, you're actually going to see Stephanie get blown up. She's going to fly back about 30 miles an hour. So what you see in the movies, you're going to see in real life here on The Big Idea. I might even get up enough courage during the break to do it, but I wouldn't bet on it. Keep it right here. Thank you. Next, get ready for the wildest two-second ride anywhere. It's go time for the ratchet. All set, Steph? Yes, sir. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> 